students let's see what is there in this question the escape speed from the surface of the earth is this v the radius of the earth is r and the satellite of mars m orbits at the height of r by 4 above the surface of earth what is the energy required to move the satellite to the infinity so there is a, a good concept involved here and this is one of a very good question i would say so be very careful now see this is the planet and this is the orbit in which the satellite is already moving around the earth around the planet so we have one formula for the escape speed which is given by twice of gm divided by r square root which is often written as twice of g into r square root also but both of these formulas are valid only for a rocket which is sitting on the surface of the earth now if there is a rocket we are talking about a rocket or something which is on the surface of the earth and you ask like what is the velocity that should be given to this object so that it never returns it goes away to infinite distance what is the velocity that should be given to it so that velocity will be given by this formula indeed this formula like 2 gm by r is given in your data booklet square root of 2 gr is not given by the way so be very careful okay both of them are actually the same things at the surface of the earth so this is absolutely correct but in this question you talking about a satellite which is already in the orbit it is not at the surface of the earth so this formula is outrightly not applicable in this situation so you cannot use these formulas number one now the second concept second concept is the concept behind the science of why the body will go to infinite distance is that you will find the total energy at this point wherever it is the satellite the total energy of the satellite which will be negative because it is in the bound state the satellite is bound with the planet so the total energy is negative so you have to provide it with some energy so that the total energy should become zero got it let's say you are providing it with plus e additional so your equation will be total energy of the satellite plus the extra energy that you are giving it should be equal to zero zero energy means that the object is at infinite distance because energy can never be zero it will be negative but it will never be zero if it is zero it means it is at infinite distance that is why we would be providing energy which will follow this equation now now this is the second concept like what is the theory which we are going to apply now the third thing is about the satellite motion now we must first of all understand what is the total energy of a satellite so total energy of a satellite there is something called bound state and we have discussed this thing so many times now so you must be knowing it like the total energy of the satellite is given by negative gmm by small r r is the radius of the orbit potential energy sorry this is 2r potential energy is negative gmm by r and kinetic energy of the satellite in the orbit is given by positive gmm by 2r this is what is called bound state so every satellite which is revolving around some or the other planet you talk about saturn you talk about jupiter you talk about earth or you talk about sun and the planetary system these equations are valid you talk about electron revolving around a proton revolving around a nucleus even then these equations are valid but definitely we will not be using g or we will not be using mass there we would be using the charge in those questions but we will restrict ourselves to gravitation for now so from this bound state concept we already know the formula for the total energy there are students i have taught them and they will say that sir this formula is not given in the data booklet so i don't want to remember it I will prefer deriving this formula in the examination hall. Well, that will be really a bad idea. Number one, you might do some mistakes while you are driving this formula. Like you will first find the kinetic energy with the help of the centripetal force, you know, and there will be too many things. And definitely you can reach this. You can reach this conclusion, no doubt, if you don't remember it. But it is highly advised that please remember this. Okay. Now, this is the total energy. I'm going to substitute it here, which is GMM by 2R plus E is the total excess energy that is now provided from outside. So, this energy should become equal to zero. From here, we are clearly going to find what is the value of E. Okay. Let me erase a couple of things now. You can uh, rewind the videos or you can go back and watch the video completely again. 
if you want to see these things again so this is gmm by 2r so this is what is there this is the energy required to move the satellite to infinity your answer is absolutely correct but the options are not matching because options are given in the terms of escape speed this is what we have to do now now this is the fourth thing that we are getting into okay now how to do this escape speed is given by twice of gm divided by small r sorry uh, divided by capital r square root because we always define it at the surface of the earth so r value is capital r this is escape speed we have to relate these two so that we are able to substitute the value of ve into this to find what is going to happen here clear so uh, this is the energy g m m divided by 2 and what is r the radius of the orbit we have to find it the height is r by 4 this is height it means this r is equal to r plus r by 4 which on taking lcm it becomes 5 r by 4 so we are going to substitute that here this will become 5r divided by 4 the 4 will go to the numerator now because it will become reciprocal so a uh, bit tedious calculation but please be with me uh, do not get bored <laughs> okay let me clear the screen okay so this is coming out to be 4 times gmm by 2 into 5r this will become 2 twice of gmm by 5r okay now here we are going to substitute this value so i have 2 gm by capital r here so 2 gm by capital r is clearly equal to the square of the skip speed so this 2 gm by r this much has been taken out it will become 1 by 5 this mass m is here this will be replaced with v e square so clearly a is the correct answer so this question is one of a very good question i would say it's a million dollar question that too many concepts that we are using in this this is a, a like i would say a, a very good question okay you have to do it you have to watch it like three four times if you are having problem but it is a very important question do not neglect it okay dear students so this is how we do this question if you have any doubt you can mention that in comment section this is professor varun please join the youtube channel if you want to watch all the lecture series for this topic all the best bye